Welcome devils, advocates, and gemstones to the Tarot Temple here at Spirit Vibes. This is your work and money forecast for the week of March 13th until March 19th. Please be mindful to support this platform with your likes, your comments, by sharing and subscribing. Also, be sure to support this platform by checking the description box on ways to support this temple as well as how to book a reading. Now let's prepare for what matches this. The greater source would like for me to relate to you for this week's work and money. I hope you enjoy it, but please stay awake. All right, welcome back, Devil's Advocates and Gemstones, to the temple. I want to thank you so much for being a great supporter of the Spirit Vibe platforms. When I say that you all have been like, number one numero uno for weeks now i am just totally grateful for your attendance for your devotion for your commitment i really believe that you are on some path and you feel that you can get some of those answers here i didn't say all of them i said some of them so by you being really the only one this past week who has really shown the Tarot Temple some attention. I'm really in no hurry. In fact, you're probably the only sign I'll be working on and I'll probably be using up the entire hour, okay? Because I have all of these tools that I need to get across to you, including one additive, okay? And uh, we're gonna draw you a primary number for this week and let's see how that adds to your awareness or to the information that you may need and you know or you may need to use or that may give you some clarity for this week work money and romance all right i want to thank all of my newcomers my new subscribers who joined the temple thank you very much i don't know if you're a gemini uh or devil's advocate as we call it here or a gemstone or if you are cross watching or you are uh um, a devil's advocate or gemstone rising or moon sign, okay? Maybe it's a very strong house in your chart. I don't know. But like I said, if you uh, need more additional information regarding um, your concerns or anything regarding astrology, check the description box, get all that information. And welcome, welcome, welcome. And let's go ahead and begin, okay? So you know how we do it. We're going to start off with your movie scenario for the week last week was pretty deep for as i'm concerned i went back and reviewed your video actually this morning because what i like to do is uh there it is is you know make sure that everyone else my peeps <laughs> have done um their homework first and then i go and i do reviews for myself and i don't often review gemini but i said it would be fair to um review everybody's going forward you know not just the ones that pertain to me oh so this week you have the pursuit of happiness everybody knows this is starting will smith this movie was released in 2006 okay so you have pursuit of happiness. If you know anything about the pursuit of happiness, this man had an invention, an idea, innovation or something. This is based on a true story. And he literally lost everything. We talk about that a lot here, about how dreams can lead you to homelessness. Okay, but he stuck with it. And in the end, he was influential in his industry, right? So I don't know if you're having to go through that, if you've been through that, if it's something similar to that. Because, you know, sometimes you have to sleep on people's couches, you know, because you got this dream in mind. And um, I can't say anything about that because I've been there and done that. And I'm a, I don't want to have to go through it again. But you never know what the universe is going to do. Right. So, you know, good luck on that. <laughs> <laughs> for real, for real, because um, there's nothing quite like um, homelessness, I'm telling you, especially when you stand with people, because I'm telling you, people would think you owe them your life when you really doing more for them than they doing for you. You know, they really riding your back. You really providing them more stability than they are you. It's really equal, but it's something about, you know... Being in other people's homes that, you know, 
sets a different kind of stage, but it should be a great motivator to really get out there and make shit happen. Yes, as far as your planetary lineup this week, you have the three of hearts or the earth of hearts or cups. You have the earth externally. Internally, you're dealing with Jupiter, and that's the sword or blade of truth. Okay, so... You know, you love what you do, but I think you're going to be second guessing if this is going to be beneficial for you, if this is what you need to do. If you take a lot of pleasure in this, you have to admit that you like what you like, you love what you love, you love the people that you serve, you know, it's business, but it's some fact that you have to face. You may be questioning yourself. Is this benefiting me? Is this what I want to go through just because I like it? Just because it turns me on. Just because um, I'm attracted to it. You know, um, and I keep hearing questioning. You know, questioning the facts, questioning the truth. But you know that it gives you pleasure and joy and and a kind of happiness, you know what I'm saying? You know that this makes you happy. For some of you, you will. This will be a realization that what you got going on, business wise, your clients, your customers, whomever you deal with, acquaintances, associates, you feel rather deep about this or them, and this stuff may really just be a realization. This is what I want to do. This is what will make me happy. Maybe this is just the warning of what could possibly happen or what you have to look forward to on the path. It's just part of the path, okay? So let's go ahead and see what the moon swings will be uh, about relating to Earth and Jupiter, okay? Earth and Jupiter. It's funny, we have three and five, which three is equated to Jupiter, which deals with um, goodness, okay? Which deals with ex exploring and, and expanding. And five, dealing with um, experience, you know? And also it deals with loyalty, you know? It has an element of loyalty in this. Externally, you're dealing with your own energy, the moon in Gemini, we know that's a common energy card that's pulled here at the temple. And internally, you're dealing with the moon in Aquarius, okay? So we know that stress may be an issue during this time, okay? We got the earth here, and it's funny because Gemini is the third house, okay? So we're dealing with the third house. We're definitely in your house this week. The moon in Aquarius says the time is right for celebrating life. Make the most of parties, gatherings, and other social opportunities. And that's being jubilant, just life in and of itself, you know. Um, and that may be a realization as well that you need to get out in life and be more sociable because really and truly you can't have a business without having without connecting to other people. You have to take part in things. You have to go to uh, meetings. You have to go to parties. You have to be in places where you can let people in on what you have to offer, where you can pass out your business card. You see what I'm saying? Where you can talk to people who are like-minded on the same level as you, and you can exchange you know, what you're doing and your ideas. You just never know what will come out of that. So, yeah, um, you need to um, make connections, okay? And when you get an invite, you know, you need to you need to do that, okay? You need to do that. Let's go ahead and pull you a number for this week's work of money. Let's see what number will be relevant to your work, money, and a romantic forecast message or reading. Also, remember, if it doesn't resonate, that's cool. You may be in another part of your house this week. That's why I suggest going forward that you view at least three vids because you are sun, moon, and rising. There are other parts of your chart that hopefully, once I'm free enough, we can get into that and dabble into that. But um, right now, I have to just give you what I call the basics. Even though you get a full, 
a spool, a full spread of things, um, Gemini, because you are on your shit. Like <laughs> you are the premier of premieres, you know. So anything I can always add, um, a little bit extra, like these numbers, that's what I'm gonna do. Also, speaking of numbers, if you're on TikTok, check me out. That's where I do numerology readings, okay? You have the number 15 this week, okay? 15. 15 may be a life path number, which is six. I use them both, okay? I don't, I don't, it doesn't have to just be single to me. It says a lot. 15 to me is also a number of humanity and humility. So maybe whatever you're creating up out of here, it, it deals with humanitarian work, okay? Um, I'm also hearing that Bible scripture, whatever is lovely, whatever is kind, whatever is, um, it's 1 Corinthians 13. That's what I'm hearing. 1 Corinthians 13. You may want to read that tonight before you go to bed or after you view this vid, but that's what's coming up. It's, it's dealing with love. And you know, you can't really be prosperous if you don't love what you're doing. You know, or you have some type of feeling or connection about it, you know, to the earth, okay, your connection to the earth, okay, but like I said, for a lot of you, when I'm looking at 15, I'm also dealing with um, you, you wanting your independence, you want to do your own thing, you know, but in order to get here, you have to be trained, okay, Father Saturn is not opposed to whatever kind of work you want to do. But one thing I know about him, he wants the best and you have to be disciplined. And if you don't get it, you'll have to get it the next round and the next round and the next round until it's perfect, until you're mature in the situation. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and roll dice and see how that plays out. All right. See how that goes. Yeah. 15 could also be dealing with the amount of people. Maybe you want to start out with 15. There's one. Ooh, we have Sagittarius. Uh, the house of Sagittarius. Then we talk about exploration. That's Sagittarius. Jupiter rules Sagittarius, okay? And I also see Leo and I believe that is Virgo. So we are dealing with pleasure. We're dealing with fame, with shine, um, a lot of leadership abilities as well. And we're also dealing with the details. And then we're dealing with your, you are all in yourself, okay? You are all in yourself, Gemini, because I see you again here along with Cancer and Aries. But Aries is in reverse, okay? Um, you, but you are definitely into yourself. I don't know if that's good or bad, but you know, it's necessary, right? You are definitely in the house. <laughs> you are definitely in the third house. It doesn't matter to me if it's your sun, if it's your rising or if it's your moon, you are in the house. Okay. And, um, some of you may be on the cusp of cancer. Okay, again, that's dealing with the house. You are in the house, literally. Either you're definitely in the house or you're in the house. Like you in, whatever this is, in something. It hasn't come out yet. We haven't done the reading. But I'm also seeing things about study. And um, I'm also seeing um, the master teacher sign here, Capricorn. But I'm also Capricorn is related to the to devil energy, which can be like troublesome, your mental, okay, having to make up your mind, having to give up something in order to have something, all right, because you because you can't have your cake and eat it too when you're building, you have to get to a certain place where you can have your cake, your icing, and eat it along with the ice cream. You have to be at a certain place. But right now, you're at a place where you have to give up some stuff. You have to let some stuff go. You know what I'm saying? And it may be being in the house more. Now, this week, or in, at least in this phase, they're telling you, you, you do have to be involved, okay? But um, at the same time, 
you have a lot in Gemini. You deal also with drafting, legalization. These are things that you may need to study. You know, maybe you need to know enough about copywriting. Maybe you need to know about how to patent something. There's something you need to be learning for yourself so that you do not be taken advantage of. Believe me, I know. I've been stolen from a few times, okay? And it doesn't feel good and it's scary, you know? Um, literally, I have. Uh, my advisor walked out with my whole patent and, and told me three times that I needed an IP attorney. And walked out with my stuff. Do you not know how I didn't sleep for four days? So watch your shit. Make sure you get your shit. Okay? I've given ideas and I've watched people take them right from underneath me. You know why? Because they have the power to do it. So keep your shit where it needs to be. Okay? And hopefully you're not a thief and you're not taking people's stuff. Let's go ahead and um, get your sight word for this week's work and money. All right, pursuit of happiness. The pursuit of happiness. Okay. Ooh, you got the teaching method cards. Okay, so maybe some of you are um, maybe you are trying to do like a master class or something. She's telling me to pull another. Maybe some of you are interested in a master class. Maybe it's um, outside of you. I'm going to pull another one. All right. Oh, you have mother and your sub uh, word is animal. I don't know. Does your mother have an animal? <laughs> is your mama an animal? <laughs> I don't know. You know, people got different kinds of mamas. I don't know. But you have mother and animal. Hmm. Maybe you want to buy your mom a pet. I don't know. I know my son brought home a pet one time and I just fell in love. To this day, I love Puma. To this day, I love Puma. My Puma cat. Okay. So, mother and 15. We're going to go ahead and get started on your spread. This week, we are rolling with Mother Peace. Ah, maybe that's what's going on, okay? Mother Peace is talking now. The great mother of heaven and earth has a message for you this week. And if you ask me, she is all about the happiness, you know? Uh, she has all the remedies, okay? She has everything you need to get you going and to keep you stable. And we are talking about overall the eight of disc. Okay, you have the eight of disc, and it's pointed to my west, your east. You have the eight of disc, and it is based on the will of fortune. Okay, they're round, so I have to like the will of fortune. Okay, what can you expect? You have the. Um, Traditional chart of the star goddess, and which is like an affirmation card, okay? And that's pointed to my west. It's stemming from the Ace of Cups, which is more up towards the east, okay? Ace of Cups. And your outcome is the strength card facing my west, your east. All right, the strength card. We'll, we'll discuss your conflict and our challenge and your supportive, blessed energy in a moment. But underneath all of that, we have the moon and it's kind of northwest, you know, it's kind of in between. So I will put it at like the 10 o'clock hour. Okay. You know, I'm hearing something about your ghostly past. I feel like there's some fears here. And for some of you, it, it, it's got a lot to do with mom. It's got a lot to do with your mother that's here. Um, and and I'm, also, I'm also hearing admiration here. You know, I don't know if you've, 
maybe there's an expectation here to live up to, uh, you know, some of us live up to our parents' expectations. You know, it means a lot. You know, uh, this also deals with admiration. And maybe some of you, there's, you really want, you know, you admire your mom or something and you really like want her approval. You're uncertain. You're uncertain about something. And I feel like this got something to do with the past. I don't know what happened in your past. I feel like for some of you, you're being haunted by this. Okay. Um, for some of you, whatever is going on, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing and seeing and seeing this, you know, far away at sea. So I don't know if you're going to be separated from your mom and this is your fears. Maybe you've had a separation before in the past. But well, something is going on and it's got something to do with your mom in all of this. Selling at sea. And you know, some of this looks, and I'm feeling something very ancestral about this though. You know, because the great mother moves us to move away too, okay? Um, but then I'm also hearing something that is something that's being sensed from the past. I don't know if you're sensing this. Maybe your mother has passed, okay? A mother figure, you know, a mother figure could be a godmother your grandmother, you know, but that's your underlying energy here. And I, and I, and I feel like for some of you, it's something about, a, I don't know if you're fearing whether you could call on her. I don't know if she's passed or, you know, if you fear if you can call on her. Because you seem so distant and so far apart. I don't know if it has to do with reception, like either whether you'll be received or if, is it a satellite thing. But that's what's going on underneath. And underneath there is the Six of Wands. And I'm here like feeling like you're on a roller coaster, um, going round and round. Uh, some of you... Your bowels, this is affecting your bowels. Because um, this is also dealing with, the moon deals with healing too. But it deals with more of recuperating during sleep time at night. Okay. So. Some of you literally be in the bathroom trying to figure out which way to go. You know, whether it's with your career, with your business, your humanitarian efforts, I don't know. Maybe even in romance, okay? And maybe some of you fear your mom won't like something when it comes to your romance, okay? And underneath that is the six again. So we got a lot of uh, Venus, Ven Venetian energy here. And it's dealing with like um, taking off, how to take off, how to get going, you know, where to go. Who to connect to? That's a that's a lot. That's a lot in the pursuit of happiness. Okay, and everything is based on this will of fortune. And when I pulled this, I heard round and round I go. Where I stop, you I forget. You will never know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I feel like the planets are aligned for you for this change now this change this the will of fortune this change can also be dealing with not just destiny but your destination where to go that's what i said was in here in this six of swords that's the basis and the core issue this week dealing with work money and romance okay um some of you this may be dealing with something serendipitous okay something that you just do not see 
just showing up out of nowhere that's beneficial for you. It could be a relationship. It could be a job offer, okay? It could be, um, you know, somebody you know, and like I said, you in an exchange of things, and boom, you're able to put an idea together. I don't know, but destiny and destination is the core issue this week dealing with your work, money, and romance. And again, I feel like the planets are aligned. You are aligned for something this week. This is going to be very fortunate for you, if even it's for a day. Okay. Now, let me tell you something about serendipitous relationships. Sometimes them serendipitous relationships can be very emotional and heartbreaking. Okay. So, um, just prepared for that in the event that that's what's going on because again we do have the moon here and um it can deal with confusion and romance like i said and also dealing with something from the past okay and i feel like for some of you your mom is connected to this I don't know how, I don't know why, but I do. For some of you, one of you. But it's all stemming from the Ace of Cups, okay? And this is taking a chance. I don't know if you take it. You, just, you know how some people, I'm just going to dive all in. You're just going to put your whole heart into something, okay? Um, for some of you, this could be a confession as well. You're just going to take the chance and just go all in and just spill your guts. Okay, you feel it's necessary in order to get over to get to the next step in your life. You have to do this for you, right? But for some of you, you're gonna take that dive, like I said, and take that chance. And you know, you know the possibilities, like some of you, you know the possibilities of homelessness, you know the possibility of having to cut back, you know the possibilities of this prediction, but nonetheless. You're going to take that risk and, and swim, okay? And swim is an exercise that's fun, but it's not always easy, right? You, and especially when you don't know what kind of waters you're going to be treading, okay? I'm also hearing ugly duckling in this as well, the ugly duckling that turns into a beautiful swan, okay? So some of you may have some past issues and past issues with your mom but once you confess once you take the chance and confess these things and um revitalize yourself this is kind of like a baptism here okay renewing your spirit renewing your mind things are going to change for you let's find out why you have this um so there's some fears here Okay, there's some, th there it is. There's some fears here. Okay, the Eight of Cups and the Sun. So this is dealing with walking away from something, walking away from something that was emotional to you or feeling led to walk away because of this connection, somebody that you felt very connected to, somebody that you really like, okay? You feel like this is kind of like your, you feel like it's a soulmate, you know. Um, this is also what can be considered an open relationship. But somebody left. Somebody walked away. I don't know if you, I don't know if this is a, um, kind of like a, um, what they call, what's the word I'm looking for? It's, it's like a betrayal, but that's not the word I'm looking for. You know, it's like you turn your back on somebody and, because we talked about loyalty earlier and you, I don't know, did you turn your back on your mom or to connect with somebody else, you know? I don't know. The, 
maybe you solve them with somebody else. Because to me, oftentimes, this is clarity, seeing something in the daylight that you can't see at night. You know? Because I'm also hearing because they're happy together. And for others of you, this is that big chance, that big risk, that swim you're going to take, be walking away from one thing. It could be a job or something else in order to, because this to me oftentimes can be like a partnership. You know, and this is a, a, um, a happy partnership. This gives you, give you a lot of good feelings, but it can also, it can also be mean. You know, they can be meanness here as well. For some of you, this could be this serendipitous relationship that I was just talking about. I don't know if it's on your part or somebody else's part or your mama's part. I don't know. But I'm also hearing leaning all the way in, you know, going all the way in. Maybe this all may also be dealing with your feelings. You know how people just going all the way in with what they have to say as well. Okay. That's what's going on with work, money, and romance this week. Your overall energy is this eight of disc and it's to my left. And this is thinking about what you can create who you can create it with, a storefront, you know, um, offering your, your products in the future, okay? In the future. This is preparing for that, what you want to do, how we're going to do it, you know. This is the preliminary steps to offering your goods to the on the market, whether it's going to be online or if it's going to be a storefront, I don't know. Um, I'm also hearing albums. Okay, so this can also represent making albums, recordings, in other words. Um, and, and, and I can tell that your goal, your status, where you want to be. I don't know if it's platinum and gold and diamond status or if this is just dealing with status in terms of, I forget what they call those people. I know they become influencers who have a lot of subscribers. But your influence on the market is here. And a lot of you are learning this. You're studying this. This is a classroom for some of you. Did we talk about that earlier? Having to learn something? Okay. And maybe some of you want to refer to your mom for that. I don't know. Or an ancestor. But that's the overall energy. Learning how to make your product. Who to partner with. Who is your um, competitor. Okay? Because you have to remember, when you take things on the market, you may not be the first one. But just like Ma Rainey told Bessie Smith, she told her the... The, the three things that music is, is this, this, and this, maybe four, and this. What is going to be so different about you to make people want to buy your records? Okay? What's so different about you? What What's your knack? What's your niche here? Okay? And that's what you need to be focusing on this week when it comes to work and money. Okay? Maybe even in your romance, because some of you, you got a partner here. A soul partner. Okay. I don't know if this partner is a soul partner. Like of the same ethnicity. Or is your soul partner. Like under the sun. Okay. Um, your alignment. You know you've been aligned. Didn't I tell you the planets were aligned for you to meet somebody? But what can you expect? You can expect to. Um, first of all. You need to think about your affirmations. Okay. You need to think about your affirmation. But I'm going to read this to you. I am the beauty of the green earth and the white moon among the stars and the mysteries of the waters. I call upon your soul to arise and come unto me. 
for I am the soul of nature that gives life to the universe. From me all things proceed, and unto me they must return. Let my worship be in the heart that rejoices. For behold, all acts of love and pleasure are my rituals. Let there be beauty and strength, power and compassion, honor and humility, mirth and reverence within you. And you who seek to know me, know that your seeking and yearning will avail you not unless you know the mystery. For if that which you seek you find not within yourself, you will never find it out. For behold, I have been with you from the beginning, and I am that which is attained at the end of desire. This is the great mother, the star goddess. Okay, and again, some of you look to your mom pretty much in the same way. She is your creator. I kept telling you something about your mother here that's significant. And there's some kind of fears here regarding your mom, some of you. Okay, but this is the person who gives you what you needed to succeed in life. And it must return unto her. Okay, it's the same ethic that we have with the great mother of the universe, okay? She gives you um, the initiative. She gives you the knowledge. She gives you um, whatever is necessary for you to be on your journey. Your obligation is to be on your journey and make things happen and bring those fruits back, okay? So that the next person can live off of those things like your children your offspring okay so studying the great mother and understanding that the great mother who to me was the first okay understanding that and embracing that can give you a different kind of power and maybe you're going to be studying that and dabbling into that a little bit more diving into that Replenishing your soul, replenishing your relationship with the great mother or with your mother. It's something about mother here. Okay? Taking the advice of your mother that's, that's pertinent here. It's something I feel like your moms have taught you. Maybe you strayed away from it. Maybe you struggled with it. Maybe you haven't really dabbled in it enough. But it's coming into play this week. Okay? Your soul is going to be stirred enough to do these things. But I'm also hearing affirmations. Creating affirmations for yourself. Things that encourage you. Things that strengthen you. Things that give you the umph that you need in order to take the steps that you want to take for your pursuit of happiness, whatever that is. And the outcome is your strength card. And again, it's based in my West. Whenever it's based in my West, it's considered free will energy, okay? And we and I'm seeing a lot of animals here. And you need to think about strengthening your, your inner man, okay? Your higher self. Some of you need to tap back into nature, okay? That's probably why you need to get out, you know. Um, maybe you're in the house too much and you need to get out in nature. It's warming up in a lot of areas, okay. We're getting ready. We're in spring. You know, we're, we're a few days away from the actual day, but we're in spring now. You need to think about uh, harnessing, you know, uh, the universe, the nature, getting out in it, putting your feet in the grass, you know, um, maybe even getting an animal. Getting a pet, some of you. Now, on another note, some of you need to think about how to keep animalistic type of people at bay. You know, um, learning how to feed people from a long handle spoon. You know, uh, knowing how to be nice but yet preserve your own energy and your own um i guess your mental mindset you know your psychology 
because because the strength card is about being strong you know and keeping your wilder instincts intact okay and not giving into hostility not giving into your feelings just because some something looks good and desirable you know you feel like you're going to go ahead and get with it no no okay but knowing how to keep you know thinking how to keep yourself in check But others of you, your destiny is with animals. I don't know if you want to be, um, I don't know if you want to work in a zoo, if you want to be a veterinarian, um, if you want to study animals and teach it, I don't know. But I still feel like in the outcome, some of you are going to think about getting a pet. I do. You know, maybe it'll be a bit of a companion for you. But for others of you, you're going to have to try to figure out how to keep some people, even maybe some animals at bay. I don't know if they come in on your porch. I don't know if they're in your yard. I don't know what's going on but how to do it with feminine power, you know, not being irate, you know, not being hostile, you know, but using your feminine power in order to get the respect, you know, to get their attention enough to keep, to keep certain energies at bay. That's, that's what I'm getting from this. This is all over the place. I don't know why that's coming out like that, but it is. Okay, so let's see what your conflict and our challenge is this week. I can't get these cards up. That's funny. Ooh, okay. We have the Ten of Wands in reverse. Now, for those of you who are in dance, literally in dance, I don't know where you are in the world. Maybe you practice African uh, dance and rituals. I don't know, but... I think this is kind of like being artful and trying to come up with that, trying to come up, some of you with a dance group, some of you with a ritual, um, some of you, I'm hearing taking things more lightly is a challenge, and it can be a challenge, taking things more lightly, not, you know, you're so used to pounding in and putting your all in, it's kind of hard to relax, you know. But your, but your challenge is to think about your art. Okay? Think about everything that goes into it. Think about the past. Okay? Think about your ancestors. You know? Because um, I do believe this is related to ancestor. Ancestral rituals and worship and, you know, arts and crafts. This is all coming from the past. And that's a challenge for you this week because maybe you don't know it because remember we talked about studying and you having to dabble into and, and diving all the way in and getting all into your studies, even taking courses, you know, taking advantage of free courses. Okay. So those of you who don't know anything about Eventbrite, I don't know if it's all over the world, but in America, there's a thing called Eventbrite. You may want to download that and take advantage of uh, some of the things that be going on to get things to help you get off the ground if you can make these connections, okay? You get a lot of great information. You make a lot of good connections. You can you can boost your ideas with this. But for many of you, this is ancestral. This has something to do with the past. Making the past better, you know? Taking the torch and improving upon, expanding. I'm talking about Jupiter. How can you do that? And what's going to help you is the Daughter of Wands. Ooh, that's the Daughter of Wands. That's going to be your blessed energy, okay? Some of you showing your talents. 
whatever that is. I don't know if it's, um, you need to show your talents. Some of you may have to move in order to gain this success. Because a lot of times it's not where you are that gets you the best results. Oftentimes you have to go there to get it, you know. But um, for some of you, some type of extension. I don't know if you do hair. Some of you may need to get off into hair, hair extensions. Okay. And believe me, hair is very ancestral. So it's very ancestral, believe me. Dance is very ancestral, okay? But to show your talents, I don't know if you need to do this online. I don't know if you need to do this um, publicly, like going different places and showing people what you can do. Exercise and dance is also going to be a blessing for you because this deals with your energy. To me, dancing is a kind of worship, okay? So really, some kind of worship is going to be beneficial for you this week when it comes to work, money, and romance. Yes, it is. So let's go ahead and sum this up for my devil's advocates and gemstones. I don't know which one you are, baby, but take your pee. I would like to know what you like the most. It would be interesting, you know, to see what my peeps prefer. Oh, you have the GOAT as your summary card. And the GOAT, we know that can be Capricorn energy, but it also deals with taking one step at a time to climb the heights of your success. Okay, because the goat deals with with steps, but it's also an acronym for um, the greatest of all time. But it's also I learned one time that it, it can also be the downside of something. But we're gonna look at the positive, the greatest of all time, taking steps to make your dreams happen, involving your ancestors. Go, you know, whatever this is here, I feel like there needs to be some stuff cleared up from the past with your mother. Maybe, I don't know if she's deceased or not, but you need to go and make that right. Treat, treat, truck, and try, okay? Treat, treat, truck, and try. A treat, a, a tree, truck, and try. Those um, words may be of significance to you this week when it comes to working money. Don't forget that Thurazaz, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, is your ruin for the month. And it deals with reactive force, directed force of destruction and defense, conflict, instinctual will, vital, vital eroticism, regenerative catalyst, a tendency toward change. Don't forget that. And that's your ruin for this week. I know it's backwards. Just write it down backwards. Let's go ahead and get you a couple of chakra cards, internal, external energies for this week. And please remember to support the temple again with some thumbs. All right. Remember to check the description box. Um, you can also check the description box on um, my other station when I was doing the romance at work. I got to get back to that. Also, there's a link if you like to shop. I have a link um, inside the description box where you can do some shopping and get you some discounts and even set it up where you can get earn money, okay, from other shoppers, okay? And if you build a business, that may be good for you, okay? So be sure to check that out. You are dealing with the base chakra, the first chakra, your instincts, okay? Externally, I trust that my instincts are correct and I let my natural intuitive feelings guide me forward. I will know what I need to do and how to respond with wisdom to situations that come my way. I have an innate desire to be of service in life. As I tap into this feeling, I will know what service I am called to do. I believe in myself. And did we talk about that? Did we hit on that? That's that Jupiter. Okay. What you love to do. Something is going to hit you. Fourth chakra. 
heart chakra, compassion and forgiveness. I have compassion for myself and for those around me. I let go of anger, resentments, and torments from the past. I, I, I can't make this up, okay? <laughs> and I do not give my power away to those involved. Forgiveness is a gift I give to myself. I forgive myself for things I feel I could have done differently in the past. And I remind myself that my response could not have been any more evolved than it was at the time. I am compassionate to those in need as this shows them that they are not alone. I practice this by listening, sharing, understanding, and being of service. This hits on what we discussed. Let's get you a gemstone for this week. I mean, some of you may want to go out and purchase this gemstone or I don't know. Or just, you know, look it up and study it. But this is all about studying this week, finding that path, accepting your destiny, getting out and getting involved so you can. Forgiveness, something about clearing things up with your mother or listening to the instructions of your mother. Something's going on in the past. You have the Amatrine, which deals with judgment. The Amatrine. Okay, let me hurry up because this... It's going to be leaving me in any moment. Emma trying judgment. It's 20. Okay. Okay, so it is with judgment. Emma trying with its golden and balanced colors stimulates feeling and creative impulses which support mental and spiritual growth. That's what's going on with you. Pent up emotions and at a standstill thinking, tire gently resolve. The link with God becomes more apparent. It deals with renewal, development, growth, life, learning, rejuvenation, achieving a goal, liberation, rebirth, and law. A new period of life begins, renewal of vital energy. And I really believe it's got a lot to do with some kind of forgiveness or being open to something. I, it's got something to do with the past. Your shadow aspect is condemnation, prejudice, delay, hesitation, fear of death. That may be what it is. Self-delusion and disregard of intuition. Let's get your totem for this week. Totem. And you have uh, the buffalo. I think you had this last week. The buffalo. Let me put you on hold for a second. I wanted you to hear this because I looked this up before and I thought it was really good. Uh, and I'm just going to read this snippet. The American buffalo or bison is a symbol of abundance and manifestation. And the lesson learned by the Lakota that, I don't know why they wrote it like that the Lakota, that one does not have to struggle to survive if the right action is joined by the right prayer. We talked about that here, didn't we? Okay. The birth of a sacred white buffalo is a sign of hope and an indication of good times to come. Let's see what it symbolizes. Power, safety, strength, life's sacredness, and durability. And I'm going to leave it on that note. Oh, let me get you a spiritual Bible oracle message. We always got to do that, honey. Let's get you a spiritual Bible oracle message. I forgot to do that after the summary. Spiritual Bible oracle message. It says, someone is sitting in the shade today because someone planted a tree a long time ago. And the great Warren Buffett that's his quote. That's what he wrote, okay? And underneath that is, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourself, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Romans 12, 19. I don't know who's getting this vengeance. I don't know if it's on your end or the other end. It would have to do with this forgiveness with your mom. But I tell people all the time, be careful with mama. Be careful with her because in the end, it's going to be on you. I can promise you that. And we're going to leave it here. Thank you so much for tuning into the Tarot Temple once again for work, money, and romance. I hope I can bring you another one next week. But in the meantime, remember to walk by faith and by sight. 
Take care. Remember to check the description box and remember to support this by giving some thumbs. Hotep, which means peace be unto you and one love.